All right, welcome to part four of this playthrough. It's normally stream exclusive, so once again, I don't know when this is gonna be put up on YouTube. So let's just get into the game. So we're gonna be picking intellectual. So there's that, and I'm going to pick. Um, explode and oh boy, finish. Okay, we're three for three now. Hi, polls. I guess this is the kind where I can actually talk to you guys because we're not really vo we're not voicing anything yet. No, we were, we were three for three. Now we're. Now we're three for four. Feels bad, man. Oh, now we're three for, or four for five. I think, right? Oh no! Wow! Congrats! Nice. That's pretty insane luck, dude. Nice. Congrats. After image one, because that's her po one of her poems. We're doing it, guys. I got a few. I got quite a few for her. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. We're do actually. We're actually on a roll right now. We're actually doing it. We are heck, we're actually doing it right now, guys. Let's get some pogs in the chat. I'm actually doing it. Crazy right now. Oh man, well, can't last forever. We're getting most of them right though. We got most of them for her though. We got most of them, almost all of them were for her. Seriously. Almost all of them were for Yuri. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> Must have gotten a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking a piano? Well, maybe that determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't all for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yes just yesterday, Nasuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and all kind of delicious foods. Kind of sound like a savory all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke doesn't make no sense in translation. Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> Fine, fine. The reactions aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Here is Sayori anyways. Oh, there you are. Sayori sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. 
uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry Don't mind me You can go talk to anyone or everyone else Huh Is everything alright? Uh, uh, of course Why wouldn't it be? It feels like you're a little off Sorry for assuming things Jeez You worry way too much about me I'm fine See? Bear shows me a big smile Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else Well, alright If you say so I worriedly glance at Sari before turning back towards everyone else The conversations have already dispersed with everyone back to their usual activities Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they're preparing for the festival, I know she's spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through the same papers, some papers at her desk. Deus, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little much into it, but she seems downcast today. Oh? You think so? I can't say that I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the, I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Deus. You certainly know her a lot more than I do. Yeah, but she's never usually like this. She's always talked to me about things about the bother her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry. I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll just drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Deus. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Harry talks about you more than anyone else, you know? Eh? He's been so much happier since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of herself. What? No way. Sari is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different than now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Deus. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just the way she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just forget about what I just said. I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think too much about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said forget about it. But I already know that I won't be able to forget. Be, won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can barely hear her from here. I sit down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? And I feel like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does I feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering for me from over her book, but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered face on her look. Look 
on her face. Whoops. I realize that she won't be getting anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to, to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one in the one next to her. I I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax. You didn't do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to do it alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what the, I was thinking like that? Well it's something that I do a lot. So if it wasn't, it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the co the concerns of those willing to share in the concern. Of course, there are those. There are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping them to themselves. But, if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I'd be glad to listen. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a little bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seemed a bit off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry. I didn't mean to sound s I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori, ha Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Uh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about for feelings. Or maybe I'm reading too much into it and a little too much. Yes. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep behind plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh... Do so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mmm... I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match up to what may be going on on the inside of her head. And she may not always know what she wants. She noticed her strange behavior for today too. I also, know, I also feel cons some concern for her. But in your case, it looks like it looked like she was full, fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that's that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I, I, I guess, but you don't need to put it that way. We're just fridge friends. That's all. Hmm. Sayori suddenly looks deep into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings that you were unaware of, and you weren't aware were in you. That that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her, Yuri. You're giving me way too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it, yeah. 
It would be taking me long enough for this whole thing anyways. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes. Let's. Actually, I have a request. Mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches a kitchen electric knife, electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this into the teacher's desk. And then we'll go to get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Long legs. Here he appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah. Why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you off to off to? Eh? We're just... You're just gonna make me some tea, so... I suddenly realize how weird this sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah. Okay. Sorry. I'm just a little curious. That's kind of one person job, isn't it? That... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to, Do you want to tell me that there's something wrong with helping involve data sending club activities? Uh, uh, uh? Uh? Oh, that's capes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. And let's go with Deus. Uh. Harry quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she puts she suddenly puts her head against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How can I say something like that? Harry? I just... Something about the way she said that. Made me feel so... Irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it also it's it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Yes. How come every how come when I do think something that's bad, you're being nice to me? Because Nothing that you do as bad as what, you, what makes it seem like in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns into a light rain shower, into a hurricane. Uh, n no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I hate. I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would that would do that? Friends, you say? Uh, uh, um. Here he lifts her head. Deus, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I really like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah, shall we go? Yeah. You and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we turn to the classroom. Deus, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Resets the temperature in the kettle for 200 degrees. Dang, that's, that's pretty high for a tea kettle. Now it's time to get the teapot. 
You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I couldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even when I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. She must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a little bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. And it's you who were around anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't put yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Deus. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Yuri, or Deus, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? That's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall, rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I, bet I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's more likely because my, uh, my, my, your posture, right? Always hunch over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a, small bag of, it's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it, since all goes well with tea. Yuri and I, Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if, we, if, as if in sync, we assume the same breathing posture position as last time, each holding one half of the book, except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Huh. Our sides closer until our shoulders are touching. I'm supposed to focus on reading like this. Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more like I can handle your teacup. Yuri hands me a teacup. Holding it up with my hand, that's not holding up the book, I end up in a pos position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry about not making not making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. I shouldn't have said that. Whoops. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I manage to relax a little. Relax. Put the teacup between my legs and funnel with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then my sm it smudges on the paper. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think that. My bad. You don't need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Here he opens the book with both hands. He holds it so that I don't have to. That I don't have to any harder any time of reading it. But as a result. Her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. 
and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation is completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Uh? Yuri's expression completely breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Deus? S sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this context, but... Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't really need to stop or anything. I, I see... The situation has gotten really tense. Gary returns to the book. I can tell by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I, ner I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Gary's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Gary doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. What? Ah. Uh -huh. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Deus, you can help Yuri put away all the tea stuff, right? It, yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. Uh, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Gary picks up the teacups off the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolate. In the end, we hastily clean up without making so much of a word between us. I get the feeling that this is something near of this world I have to bring in the courage to bring up. All right, I think this is where we're going to stop for this part. I know this is not as long as the other parts, but I'm getting pretty tired, so I think this is a pretty good part where I like to stop usually. This is where we usually start and stop and stuff like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. It's been a bit since we just saved. And I think that's gonna be it for today. So thank you guys for watching this part. I think this is part four. Watch all the way to the end of this and the far future. Thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know when's it gonna be uploaded to YouTube though, so. Someday it will be on YouTube. I don't know when. But in terms of context, this is September 7th. I don't know when it's going to be on YouTube, but eventually it will be. Peace.